We're now going to have a look at types in PHP. The way I'm going to demonstrate this is by taking an example from Spotify. So here you can see I've got a playlist which I created and then the playlist is made up of songs. And so we're just going to look at some of the data which is associated with this kind of thing. And so for example, if I go and look at a particular song, you'll see that it has a name. And good thing on Spotify is that it can also show you how many uh, times the song has been played. So we'll start off with some basic stuff like that and then we can ensure that our data is of the correct type using some type hinting. So let's give this a go. In the chapter one folder I'll create a class. So this whereas previously up to now we've just been working with PHP files where we've had a class in there and then we've done some code underneath. Best practice is to actually have the class and nothing but the class in the file and then any interaction with that class will actually take part in other files in the client code and so in PHP storm here I can just directly create a class so PHP class and we shall call this song I'm going to start out by creating two properties so public and the first one will be name I'm not going to give it a default value and then the next one will be number of plays so ie how many times has this song been played then I'm going to create a constructor so there's all sorts of little shortcuts in PHP storm if I type underscore underscore it'll see a load of magic methods come up here yet yeah, we've only learnt about one of those and that is construct so if I hit tab then we get public function construct so if you're using a different editor than me and you don't have that shortcut then just copy the exact syntax as what you see here and so as you can see here I'm doing it the old way uh, I'm not using promoted properties for this one but I can interchange the two but um, we're just going to stick with doing it with the previous old school way for now so number name and number of plays and then we'll assign the properties like so so this name equals name then this number of plays equals number of plays and then like I say whereas previously we've then gone after the closing curly brace for the class and we've done our code down there but that's not really a good practice and you'll not see that done in uh, professional programs what you do is you go and create client code um, classes and files which will actually work with this class so I'm going to create a file and we'll call this primitive types because in this one we're just going to look at primitive types at this time of recording the primitive types in PHP are boolean integer float string object resource array and null there are different kinds of types so in addition to this you can have uh, a class such as our song class that can be a type it's of type um, song class and it's also a type of object so things become a bit more interesting there but let's stick to what we're doing here we're just going to have a look at the primitives and what we're going to have a look at is in our song class we are passing into the constructor a name which you could reasonably expect that to be a string and number of plays which you would expect that to be an integer but there's nothing which actually defines that as a rule which says that this must be a string when you pass it in and there's nothing which says that this must be an integer when you pass it in previously in PHP you would have had to do something like this but this still doesn't uh, enforce any kind of rules it basically just some documentation where we say okay this is a parameter and it is going it should be a string and the name of that parameter is name and then for number of plays you'd say it's going to be an integer and the variable name is number of plays but this is all it is really it's just documentation which is telling the developer this is uh, the types which are expected to be passed in here but it doesn't actually force anything it doesn't throw any errors if you pass in a different type so let's go ahead and try this out okay so I want to have a song object so I'm going to need to actually require the song file so we'll say require once song.php and then we'll say song equals new 
song, and then it's expecting some constructor arguments. So let's pass in the wrong types here. The name we've said should be a string, so uh, PHP Storm can actually read those, uh, read that documentation and say, hey, this should be a string. But I can actually pass different values. So say, for example, I pass an array, and I'll just give this two different values, and we'll call it a song. And then for the number of plays, let's be silly and just say number of plays as a string. PHP Storm here is complaining, saying this should have been a string, but we'll just disable the inspection just to prove that we can still pass the wrong types in here. So if I want to var dump song name, and the file that I'm executing here is php primitive types.php. As you can see, we get an array. No errors have been thrown. Nothing has prevented us from passing the wrong types. And I can go ahead and I can print the number of plays. So song number of plays. If I go and run this. And so we get number of plays and that silly little percentage thing. Let's go and do this again. So this time we get number of plays, but we wanted that to be an integer. So even though we've added some documentation here, the documentation doesn't enforce anything. It is what it says. It's just documentation. We can get around the issue we have by using type hints. So here, where I'd like the name to be a string, I can say string. And so that will then enforce the rule. There are some caveats which I'll speak about at the end. Number of plays, we would like that to be an integer. So we'll say int. And then if we go back to our primitive types, when I actually go to uh, create this song object at runtime, we should now get an error because we've said that the first argument should be a string and we're obviously passing an array and the second argument should be an integer and we've passed a string. So what we'll do is we will just say, and they won't actually reach this point of the uh, program, but we'll do it anyway. We'll just say print song name. Okay, and let's go and run this again. Okay, so we get a fatal error. Let's read what it says. Uncaught type error, song construct, argument number one, name, must be of type string, array given. And so that's as far as it gets. And then the error is thrown and the program stops. Let's actually change this and we'll give it a proper song name uh, using a string. So we'll say Blackbird. And then if we go and run it again, we should now get an error because our second argument, our number of plays, is actually a string when we've type hinted that it should be an integer. So PHP, primitive hyphen types dot PHP. Okay, fatal error, uncaught type error, song construct, and this time saying argument number two, number of plays must be of type int string given. And so this is good. Why is it good? It's because it makes your program more predictable you know that you're not going to get the wrong types passed in there and so that your program's not be going to behave in strange, unexpected ways. By type hinting these, by adding that strictness, it means that you will always get the type that you are looking for and the type that your program is expecting to work with. And if not, an error will be thrown and errors can be handled in all kinds of ways, but we'll look at that when we get later in the course to error handling. Let's change this to an integer. So we'll say one, two, three. And then if we go and run this now, this should work. So we get Blackbird. And then let me show you uh, what I was talking about when I mentioned caveats. What if I wanted to pass an integer as the name or accidentally an integer got passed as the name? If we go and print this out, as you can see, it's actually printing one, two, three, four. Even though this is an integer and we are expecting a string, we don't have an error. So let's go and actually inspect that variable. So the way to inspect variables is to use a var dump. So I shall place that in here. Song name. And so it's saying that it is a string. So even though we've passed an integer, it actually, in some instances, PHP will try and figure out what you're trying to do and it will cast things like integers to strings, if a string is what you have type hinted. If you don't want that behavior, if you don't want that default behavior, 
what you need to do in the file which is actually calling uh, the methods or the file where the object is being created you need to do this declare strict types equals one and as you can see as soon as I pull that in there we get a squiggly line underneath this one two three four and then in the bottom corner there it's saying expected parameter of type string int provided and if we go and run this now so we now get an uncaught type error and so back to the error that we had argument number one must be of type string int given so I'll change this back to the way it was and just to reiterate this line here it needs to go in the file where the code is being called not where it was implemented so not in the song class itself but in the primitive types uh, file where we're actually newing up that song object if we go back to our song now and look at the documentation we added for our construct method it now becomes redundant because uh, our type hints are saying what type of a variable this should be what kind of data it should hold it should be a string and same for this one this should be an integer so do we really need this noise here it's best to actually leave stuff like that out and we sort of have self-documenting code now don't we so we don't need to add unnecessary comments